And here is the crew for 61C, once again having their breakfast, anticipating launch this morning. There is RCA payload specialist Robert Sinker making his first flight, and pilot Charles Bolden also making his first flight into space. And mission specialist George Pinky Nelson making his second trip, and Commander Robert Hoot Gibson also making his second trip into space this morning. And also making a second trip would be Stephen Hawley, mission specialist for this flight. And there is another mission specialist, Franklin Chang Diaz. This is his first flight. And uh, our payload specialist, U.S. Congressman Bill Nelson. This is the flight crew's fifth time for breakfast here at Kennedy Space Center anticipating a launch of Mission 61C. This is Shuttle Launch Control and the 61C flight crew is now leaving their crew quarters. There's Mission Payload Specialist Bill Nelson. Commander Hoot Gibson is already in the elevator. Mission Specialist Chang Diaz. Payload Specialist Robert Sinker and Pilot Charles Bolden. Here's Mission Specialist Stephen Hawley. Mission Specialist George Pinky Nelson. All now getting into the elevator on the third floor of the Operations and Checkout Building. The astronaut support personnel are verifying at this time that the checklist for the crew's entry is now ready at launch pad 39A. And there we see some well-wishers for the crew members here in the hallway of the Operations and Checkout Building. And there's Commander Robert Gibson. Mission Specialist Pinky Nelson. And there's Stephen Hawley. Pilot Charles Bolden. Bill Nelson. And all the astronauts are now aboard their astronaut van and will be departing shortly now for launch pad 39A and preparing to board the orbiter, orbiter Columbia. And the van is now on their way, led by KSC Security and also followed by the security. Everything going smoothly in the countdown. We anticipate an on-time liftoff at 6.55 a.m. this morning. T-minus two hours, 26 minutes, 41 seconds, and counting. This is shuttle launch control. That uh, looks like Steve Hawley uh, that's arrived in the white room. It's wearing a Groucho Marx disguise.
Coming up on T minus 31 seconds and a go for auto sequence start. Have a ground launch sequencer go for auto sequence start. Columbia's general purpose computers now have primary control of critical vehicle functions. T minus 20 seconds. Everything is go. The orbiter's onboard computers have armed the SRB ignition hold down post and T0 umbilical. T minus 12 seconds. T minus 10. Go for engine start. T minus 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition, we have liftoff, liftoff of Columbia in mission 61C, and the shuttle has cleared the tower. Houston controlling now. Houston, uh, Columbia's ready and roll. Roger roll, Columbia. Crew in the ground acknowledging the roll program with good roll, 73 degrees, puts the ship on the proper attitude for the flight downrange with wings level and astronauts heads down. Uh, standing by now to throttle down, all three main engines running smoothly at 104% of rated thrust.
forces propellants through the main engines at uh, 4 minutes 30 seconds mission elapsed time, velocity uh, approaching 10,000 feet per second, altitude uh, 54 nautical miles. Uh, Columbia now in space, not yet in orbit. Columbia Houston, press D'Amico. Roger, press D'Amico. Uh, that call on time, uh, advising the crew to uh, continue to fly forward uh, to main engine cutoff should one main engine fail to operate. All main engines continue to operate uh, perfectly flawlessly at 104% of rated thrust, exactly as programmed. Uh, APU pressure and speeds continue to look good. Uh, fuel cell performance is uh, also good. Uh, velocity 11,400 feet per second, uh, altitude 57 nautical miles, distance downrange 240. Main engine cutoff would occur at uh, 8 plus 30, uh, roughly three minutes from now, and main engine performance continues to be very good. Velocity 12,500 feet per second, altitude uh, 58 nautical miles, distance downrange 276 nautical miles. Uh, standing by for a call for a single engine transatlantic abort capability to the uh, TAL site. We're using the secondary site this morning at Marone, Spain. Mission lapse time is now six minutes even.
He's your umbilical. T minus 12 seconds. T minus 10. Go for engine start. T minus six, five, four, three, two, one. We have ignition. We have liftoff. Liftoff of Columbia on mission 61C, and the shuttle has cleared the tower. Houston controlling now. Or go for auto sequence start. Columbia's general purpose computers now have primary control of critical vehicle functions. T minus 20 seconds. Everything is go. The orbiter's onboard computers have armed the SRB ignition hold down post and T0 umbilical. T minus 12 seconds. T minus 10. Go for engine start. T minus 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition, we have liftoff. Liftoff of Columbia on mission 61C, and the shuttle has cleared the tower. Houston controlling now. His computers now have primary control of critical vehicle functions. T minus 20 seconds. Everything is go. The orbiter's onboard computers have armed the SRB ignition hold down post and T0 umbilical. T minus 12 seconds. T minus 10. Go for engine start. T minus 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition, we have liftoff, liftoff of Columbia on mission 61C, and the shuttle has cleared the tower. Houston controlling now. Houston, uh, Columbia is ready and normal. Roger roll, Columbia. Crew in the ground acknowledging the roll program, a good roll, 73 degrees, puts the ship on the proper attitude for the flight downrange with wings level and astronauts heads down. Now to throttle down, all three main engines running smoothly at 104% of rated thrust. Uh, 13 miles. 
miles, distance downrange 12 miles. Uh, APU performance uh, very smooth, all uh, auxiliary power units uh, providing 102-106% uh, of, uh, of uh, hydraulic pressure. Fuel cells running smoothly. Main engines continue to look great. Two minutes into the flight, velocity 5,500 feet per second, altitude. We got DC less than 50. Roger. That call precursor to solid rocket separation, which now occurring and occurs nominally. Uh, that call and that event right on time at uh, two minutes, six seconds. Sequence start. Columbia's general purpose computers now have primary control of critical vehicle functions. T minus 20 seconds. Everything is go. The orbiter's onboard computers have armed the SRB ignition hold down post and T0 umbilical. T minus 12 seconds. T minus 10. Go for engine start. T minus 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition, we have liftoff, liftoff of Columbia on mission 61C, and the shuttle has cleared the tower. Houston controlling now. T-minus 20 seconds. Everything is go. The orbiter's onboard computers have armed the SRB ignition hold down post and T-0 umbilical. T-minus 12 seconds. T-minus 10. Go for engine start. T-minus 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Glide slope, slightly right of center line, correcting surface winds are calm. Roger, copy, Fred, thank you. Uh, touchdown now about a minute away, altitude 6,800 feet, velocity 589 feet per second. Four miles from touchdown. Uh, again, the approach very smooth and uh, right on the program path. Two miles 
miles from touchdown, altitude uh, 1,300 feet. Go ahead, Columbia. Hey, Fred, the vehicle looks real good. There's no uh, apparent damage or of any kind. Roger.
Columbia, Houston, City R. Fred, Fred. Roger, on page 5-20 of the entry checklist, we would like uh, the ammonia deactivation, please. Understand. Columbia crew now leaving the ship. Uh, they are uh, in order. Mission Commander Hoot Gibson, Pilot Charles Bolden, uh, Mission Specialists George Nelson, Steve Holly, and Franklin Chang Diaz, and Payload Specialists Bob Sinker and Congressman Bill Nelson uh, being greeted at the foot of the stairs by uh, the uh, senior NASA representative there, which who is a uh, uh, veteran astronaut, Dan Brandenstein. Uh, coincidentally, uh, Brandenstein has, uh, was the uh, capsule communicator for the uh, ascent of uh, Columbia on STS-1, the uh, first flight of the space shuttle. Uh, now, seven flights later, he uh, gets to visit the ship, and uh, having made uh, two space flights himself, uh, one as commander. <laughs> 